We begin with one of the most significant North Korean ballistic missile launches since U.S. President Joe Biden took office. South Korea is reporting at least one was fired into the Sea of Japan. The military says the weapon may have been designed for submarine launches. Japan's prime minister has cancelled election events and returned to Tokyo to assess the situation. North Korea is at it again. They've launched ballistic missiles and their neighbours are alarmed. North Korea just fired two ballistic missiles. This is very regrettable. It's believed one of the missiles was launched near the city of Sinpo in the country's east. That's important because it's where Pyongyang usually keeps its submarines, suggesting the North may be able to fire these weapons underwater. After travelling hundreds of kilometres, the missile then landed in the East Sea, just off the coast of Japan. It threatens the peace and security of our country. Including their previous consecutive firings of missiles, this is a severe problem for our country and the world. Despite being in breach of UN law and international sanctions for their nuclear and missile programs, North Korea is pressing ahead with raising its military capabilities. Earlier this month, Kim Jong-un vowed to build an invincible military and in recent weeks has carried out a flurry of military tests. But this latest military launch comes on the same day as the opening of South Korea's biggest defence expo, an event showcasing the South's newest fighter aircraft and weapons. But also as the US and the South meet in Washington for ongoing denuclearization talks on the peninsula. We will seek diplomacy with the DPRK to make tangible progress that increases the security of the United States and our allies. And the pathway to formally end the Korean War is on the table. I believe the discussions we've had so far have deepened Washington's understanding of South Korea's ideas for the end of war declaration. South Korea and the US will continue close coordination for this. Talks between Japan, the US and South Korea will continue on Wednesday. And while it seems peace is the goal, it's clear the arms race on the Korean peninsula is heating up. Jordan